Hello everybody, my name is Ty and I'm sick, <laughs> but I'm still gonna try to bring you the content, so here we are. The latest Dying Light 2 update gave us a lot of really cool additions, such as new zombie faces, more missions, guns, I think it's actually a really great update. There is one thing that I've seen nobody really discuss though, and that is the new custom maps. If you've watched this channel before, you know I probably like custom maps quite a bit, and I do. So I'm gonna be showing off some new ones that I think show the evolution of what these developer custom map making tools can do. I do think it's worth mentioning the reason I'm even making this video to begin with is because I want to see more content like this. I love custom maps a lot, and it's just fun seeing the creativity of the community. Like, for example, I don't even like a lot of the main combat challenges in the main game, but these custom maps do find a way to make it actually really fun. So, these map makers got early access to guns, were able to test them out, and build some really, really cool experiences around it. Which gave us six maps in total, and while some of the maps are honestly completely broken and soft-locked all the time, they're still really, really fun experiences worth diving into, so let's go check them out. Starting with my favorite, the Giant's Shadow by Rabid Squirrels around base mode in a galaxy galaxy setting and it's very very well done. Your main goal is to run around and collect guns, defeating each round of zombies and, you know, progressing. As you can expect though, each round gets more and more intense. Really though, it's the vibe that really brings this thing all together. You have an asteroid field all around you, you have stars shooting down, it's pretty crazy but very very cool and unique. There's really nothing else like it in Dying Light 2. The Last Shell by Bub puts you into a military or GRE facility. Your main goal is to turn the power back on and progress through the corridors. The main thing that makes this one really unique is you have all these gates around the map that separate each zone, and you can open and close them whenever you want. The map is built around these encounters that involve you using these gates to escape a horde of zombies or volatiles, and it can get pretty intense. But the thing is, these gates can be broken through, and it only gets more and more wild as you progress through the facility. The next map also by Bub is a cute little recreation of Duck Hunt, where you you got a shotgun and your goal is to, well, shoot the ducks, but this time it's the fisheye fish. It's really straightforward, but it does show a good example of what mini games can be like in Dying Light 2. The map is also set within this giant room, so I actually found that to be pretty fun to explore, hang out with Ratatouille a bit. Next up is Mission Death Shade by Crex. This one actually had a very interesting and cinematic start, but I unfortunately got soft lock and got stuck in this anniversary screen that kept popping up over and over and over again. So honestly, I don't know what the map has to offer, but I do recommend to check it out anyways because I know Crex usually makes some pretty good stuff. Holy Bullets by Nduka Ren, hopefully I'm saying the name alright, is next. Like the Giant's Shadow, this one also has a setting that really makes it stand out, this time going full on medieval. It actually kind of reminded me of Hell Raid inside of Dying Light 2, actually very similar objectives. And in case you don't know, Hell Raid was originally a standalone game made by Techland before Dying Light released, but it eventually got scrapped and became a DLC for Dying Light. Holy Bullets overall had some really good level design, really good enemy placement that didn't make things too overwhelming but still gave you a sense of challenge. Unfortunately though, I did get softlocked and couldn't complete the map, but it's still very very good and worth checking out. The final Dying Light 2 gun custom map that we're going to be talking about is called Zombies the Theater by SRG Respawn. This map I found to be the most simple of the new gun maps, but also just some good momentary fun. And that's kind of all you need sometimes. You're in one little zone and have to clear out as many waves as you can. And overall the vibes felt like Call of Duty Zombies to me with the tight corridors, the round based system, with it getting more difficult, and just the tone of it all, the actual map itself. It's another good map, definitely worth checking out. As time goes on, Dying Light 2 custom maps are only going to become more advanced, unique, and less like the main game and more their own type of minigame. It gives the game so much more replayability just to be able to jump into dozens of different maps and get a completely different experience out of it every single time. With DevTools getting an update, eventually, these maps are really only going to get better. Like I've said before, players will eventually be able to create their own expansions, storylines with branching paths, and so much more. Some would say we're at that point now, but I would say not yet. There's still some work that needs to be done. But that time will come, and I'm really looking forward to it. Anyways, though, information about all the maps will be down below, so thank you for watching. Feel free to like the video, subscribe if you want, join my Discord. And yeah, that's it. End of video. Goodbye.